Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to be looking at yet another design by Mikai Beer called the Articulated Chameleon. So first things first, we go to the developer notes, see if they have any specifications. Mikai Beer usually makes it pretty easy for us, says no supports required, just slice and print, meaning no rafts, no supports, resolution of 0.16 millimeters, and an infill of 0%. So we're going to keep all that in mind, and once you're ready, we're going to go up here to this blue button and click on the download all files to get our necessary files and we'll be greeted by three files now we have chameleon we have jaw and we have jobless tongue chameleon you're gonna to have to print 100 percent that's the actual chameleon itself and then you have two options you can either print the jaw or you can print the jaw with a tongue now if you print off the jaw it's going to look something like this or it's just his mouth right there but you can also do the option of printing the jaw plus the tongue which will print this entire piece so up to you on what you want to print for this video i'm going to print the chameleon and the jaw plus tongue now you can always print two files at the same time just by clicking on both and dragging them to your slicer but for beginners i highly recommend you print them separately and i'll tell you why in a second with the jaw plus tongue there's very small pieces and on previous videos I've had a bunch of complaints saying that their parts didn't print or whatnot and that's usually because the beginners don't level their bed appropriately or if they're using a glass bed which has less adhesion power than a magnetic bed you know these parts may not stick to the bed so we're going to print these uh, separately like I said if something messes up you can just reprint it rather than printing both at the same time and having them both fail so first we're going to look at the chameleon. So we're going to click and hold on that and drag it to your slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to load up. And like I said before, this should be very easy, especially with the chameleon itself. It doesn't require too much as the developer said. Simply select the layer height. He recommended 0.16. So beginners, I recommend you stick with that. If you think your printer is well calibrated and uh, it's printing pretty good, you can go up to 0.2, which would make the print a little faster, but you'll definitely lose some quality. So uh, up to you on what you want to choose. I'll stick with 0.16. Now, no supports, no bed adhesion, but he did say you can change the infill down to 0%. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this infill tab and change this 20 all the way to 0. And then you're set. So all I have to do now is hit slice and give it a few seconds to load up. And once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 4 hours and 40 minutes, but that will depend on your printer, and as well as a estimated filament usage of 16 grams. So always preview the print, see if anything weird or funky is going on, and everything looks good and set to go. So send this file over to the printer, and get ready to slice the second part, which is the jaw plus tongue. Now if you haven't done so already, be sure to save the file and send it to the printer. Start the printing process for this one because you'll have time now to get the tongue ready. So once you've sent this to the printer and saved it, all you have to do now is click on prepare, click on this and click on delete. And I will remove that from the build plate and now we can do the, uh, the jobless tongue. So click and hold on the STL and drag it into the slicer. And like I was saying before, most beginners aren't going to have a completely leveled bed. So I do recommend printing this with a brim. Now, if your printer, if you feel like it's completely leveled and you don't have any build plate adhesion issues, then you can just go on and hit slice and then send that file over to the printer. But if you're like me and you have a glass bed, then you might have a higher chance of this uh, unsticking from the bed. So we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna add a brim. Beginners, no matter what printer you have, I recommend you do it, just considering uh, we're not entirely sure if your bed is completely leveled or not. So in order to do that, we're going to go to build pit adhesion down here, click on that, and we're gonna go here, click on skirt, we're gonna switch it over to a brim, and click on that. Now I'm gonna make it really easy for you guys to remove the brim, because stock Cura settings, Make it almost impossible to remove this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to brim distance. Now, if you don't have this setting right here, you're gonna put your mouse over here, click on the gear, and search up brim distance, and make sure this is checked. 
But once says that once that is checked, you should have this distance and set that to 0 0.16. And you're set on there. Now make sure your infill once again is 0%. So you can click on the infill tab and type 0 here. But once you're uh, done with all that, all I have to do now is hit on slice and give it a few seconds to load up. And once it's finished loading, you should be given a time estimate of one hour and five minutes. Like I said, that will depend on your printer as well. And you'll be given an estimate of three grams of filament usage. So always preview the print, take a look around. Like I said, this is the blue thing that's called the brim. That will just uh, make sure that your print does stick to the bed and not uh, pop off like mine. So once you're ready, just save that, wait for the chameleon to print, and then print this one. Here's the model straight off the print bed, except the tongue, in which I removed the brim already. So apologies for that. Now you should know that the eyes do not move yet, but they are supposed to move. But uh, we'll tell you how to get those freed up in a second. In order to get the eyes moving, all you have to do is apply some force left and right, up and down on the actual eyes. They should be able to move freely. At first they may be a little stiff. But just keep playing around with them and they should be able to move on their own. And then after that, all I have to do now is put the tongue inside the actual chameleon. There's already a hole down there, so you can just stick it in there. Now, the designer says sometimes you have to either make the tongue a little bigger or smaller, etc. But you can easily just use uh, hot glue, which is what I'm going to do. Just add some hot glue in that hole and then put the... Uh, the actual tongue in there and you should be more than fine and it won't come out anymore so up to you on what you want to do these articulated designs are pretty fun like i said easy to print nothing too much of a hassle so if you want to paint this up you know make it look pretty and enjoy your new chameleon